I swear, dumb thieves today don't even know what a catalytic converter is. Oh well, he did me a favor. Today's episode of Cornbread and Crab Boxes. We're going to see what the Jeep sounds like straight piped. Maybe she'll sound like a race car. Maybe one of them nice V8s going down the drag strip. Or my best guess, she'll just sound like a tractor. Yeah, that's probably more close to it, yeah. I'm beginning to wonder if this is a good idea or not. If I was to ask my wife, She'd probably say I'm stupid because I cut the muffler off of everything I've ever had. Even her minivan once. Not the one we got now, but it was an old Ford. Yeah. So there's probably hundreds of videos on YouTube about how these things sound straight pipe. But everybody knows it's just not the same unless you can hear it in person. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna take old Ruby here. We're gonna let her get a little bit loud and a little bit rowdy. Rowdy. Call it loudy and rowdy. Probably no. That don't sound right. And we all know this will probably open up about 50 horsepower. You boy has been known for straight piping all his vehicles over the years and uh, unclogging a few pipes, if you know what I mean. cleaning some cats. Y'all need to get y'all's head out of the gutter. What I meant was gutting the catalytic converter. <laughs> All right, so let's get underneath her and see what we need to do. So right there is the muffler. And I guess I'm just going to have to tackle it uh, somehow, probably uh, up there. Probably cut it on the... Uh, the part that goes the muffler because that'll be easier to cut than that factory um, metal right there and same for back here I uh, see years ago I would have been slaving underneath one for about an hour an hour and a half with a, a handheld hacksaw but I went and picked me up a tool the other day uh, in order to make quick work of this job right here yep bye bye muffler but one thing i am going to do is i'm going to get out of these rocks and get over in the grass so let's go size men. So I didn't know if you could hear or start, but I'm having this issue with this Jeep. If any of y'all know what, exactly what's going on with it, because like I said, I'm new to it, so I don't know what goes out on them or what happens, but I have this issue every once in a while where it'll turn over, but it won't start. I don't think it's necessarily an issue with the fuel pump, because on the times it does that, I do hear it crank. I do think it has an issue with the fuel pump being weak because sometimes when I start it it's kind of hard starting you saw Tammy which is my gold Jeep she'll turn over crank over every time but she has an issue when you put your foot on the gas she wants to die this one doesn't have an issue when you put your foot on the gas but what it does it just seems like it starts harder than Tammy does when I have that issue, what I have to do is I have to unhook the negative terminal 
on the battery. And over here at the firewall, I think it's the map sensor. I have to unplug it, leave it off for about five minutes, plug both of them back in, and it'll crank right over, fire up, and run. When I first got this thing, it was idling real high, but since I've been driving it, I think whatever was causing it to idle real high uh, has kind of worked itself out. If y'all could help me figure that out, leave it in the comments. It'd be greatly appreciated because I don't claim to know everything. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. I went the other day and got me one of these Hercules brushless. I call it a Sawzall because I think that's what all rednecks call reciprocating saws is a Sawzall. I know I could have just as easily went and got a Milwaukee and I just didn't want to spend the money. And if I was using it every day, it would be a different story. But this is just for something that I'm using here around the house. Now, you might can use this stuff every day. I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I bought this and I bought the quarter inch impact and I bought the drill, done use the drill. And uh, I'm gonna see how this works out. And I even bought the blades. Let's get to work. By the way, I show my crack a lot, so I'll be cutting a lot of that out. Get down here. Sometimes it's hard to get down here for a fat man. Uh, cut number one. Number one finished. Go to cut number two. Hey, there's some booger welds back here. It's you. You wouldn't think that that'd be rough on a man's hands, but can y'all see what I'm doing down here? Jesus. You wouldn't think it'd be that hard. Woo! No! Well, I think it's about time to test her out and see how she sounds. We all think. Yeah? I mean, I don't have to if you don't want me to. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Hold you, hold you. Hold your britches. did that look at my oil pressure i'd say she's sitting at 100 psi right now you can't get no better than that 
let's see if we can't quietly go down here to my grandma's house. I want to have her come out and start it and see what she thinks. Hey, uh, I got a question. Can you come outside and see what's wrong with my Jeep? Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. I got this weird noise coming from it. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I want you to go out and start it. See what's wrong with it. Well, because I just want everybody to know your expert opinion. <laughs> You're pretty smart on vehicles, ain't you? No. Not yeah. like Greg was. Yeah, but he taught you a lot. Well, he taught me some. I know it's got a loud noise. I mean, this thing was pretty quiet. It's always been quiet. No, it ain't Dude, loud. You got something going on with brakes. Brakes? Smell the smell the brakes. The brakes? Yeah. That's a brake smell right there. Is this it's all the bank? Thing to it. No, I didn't do that. Cadillac. The wrong thing. No, no, we don't do that. That's illegal. That's what it sounds like. All I'd have to do is look down at there and see what you've done. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. There's the tailpipe. Is it straight through or what? I can't see it far. <laughs> must be straight through. No, I just cut the muffler off. Oh. Okay. Will you pay for it to get it fixed? No. no. If you cut the buffalo off, no, you get it fixed yourself. <laughs> well, fellas, I think that's going to be it for today. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all tune in some more. If you haven't seen my first video, make sure you go back and watch it. Please leave a comment if there's something you would like to see me do to the Jeep or if um, you have any suggestions about anything. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel that way I can get my followers up. But anyway, I'll see y'all fellers later.